I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served in the Legion, this land became my home. The Jarl and I have our disagreements. Sorry if you had to overhear one of them. Uh, yeah, I saw you arguing with somebody. What was that about? Skald supports Ulfric's rebellion, and he doesn't like having a couple of old legionnaires living in his town. He's a fool. A dragon has attacked Helgen. Dawnstar needs the Empire now more than ever. Oh, you heard about that, huh? I mean, I'm just looking for a drink or some work. Drowning your troubles in mead? A lot of folks are doing that these days. You'll want the Wind Peak Inn. As for work, you could try to catch Scald in a good mood, but your best bet would be working in the mines. They're on opposite ends of town. I don't work in the mines anymore, not after last time. <laughs> Took a while to escape from that one. Stay out of trouble now. Hey, Horik? Watch your hands around the legate. Okay. You shut your mouth and get back to work, or you won't be a miner or a soldier by the day's end. Hear me? Uh, yes, ma'am. Imagine blowing up an entire town. Damn college. Winterhold will never be the same. Yeah, keep on walking. I was about to say, hey, I don't show up in your town and criticize the way you run it, except that I was just literally talking <laughs> shit on the Stormcloaks, so never mind. I, I actually do that. <laughs> ah, the Jarl of Whitehall. Just a servant of Skald the Elder. Hey. Well, there's no honor in being a Jarl's servant. My Jarl. No Southern Guard <laughs> waits for dust cleaners. Safety? Don't I have you to handle the town's safety? What is this about, Yod? You keep pledging more and more of our guard to the front lines. The way this is going, we won't be able to defend our own borders. Nonsense. The best place for our men is driving the Imperials back. I will ensure that men from Dawnstar get every opportunity for glory. Glory is meaningless if they have no home to return to. I urge you to lower our commitments to the front until I'm sure we're safe. I won't have you rob our soldiers of their chance to drive out the Empire. I'm done discussing this yard. Man, this guy seems like a fucking idiot. I'm Skald's house, Carl, and Skald, head of his guard in Dawnstar. If you don't mind, sir, I have a request. My only aim you is to keep the peace. have a request of me, Bullfrick. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This should be interesting. Well, I was thinking, sir, with the war going on and all, maybe I could enlist, fight the Imperials. A servant? Enlisting in the Stormcloaks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Bullfrick. That's why I like having you about. Oh, you're always good for a laugh. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, that's me. The oafish servant. So this Jarl's not making a great first impression. Uh, Skald is very vocal. The tenacity of the Imperial Legion is legendary. We need to be ready for him. Right. Good afternoon. The nightmares in Dawnstar have lifted, and I hear you help that happen. You have my thanks. Looks like the nightmares were hitting you pretty harder than everybody else, huh? <laughs> but, uh, you got the other work needs help with? Giants are a common problem in the Pale. Giants? The Empire always demanded I leave them be, but... <laughs> the Empire isn't here now. Go and slay one of the beasts. Should let them know the Dawnstar is not to be trifled with. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we have time for giant killing. You don't have time? Fine. I guess if we're in the area, we can take care of it. Yeah, bye. Don't bother me again unless it's important. Huh? Okay. No empire is going <laughs> to take the Yarl's away from this God, side. God damn it, let me go! Ruined your getaway. I think I was trying to fucking get me caught. He's mad that I shot him in the face with arrows several times and struck him with lightning a couple times. As many people would be! I, you know, it's understandable. It's understandable that he's mad at me. I just don't care. <laughs> I helped my husband Rustleif run the forge. He's a marvel with steel. Oh, your husband, huh? Mm. Oh, you're off the market, are you? Huh. So you, uh, you come here often? She, she says she's off the market. <laughs> what, do, what are you trying to do? Steal someone's wife? Yeah, we'll level up your alchemy skill. Does the apothecary have a job for us? Might as well check that out, I suppose. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. 
Just step up to the counter. It's probably going to be like, go get me these ingredients. The mortar and pestle has cures for every illness, from ataxia to whitbane. So you've been here long, lady? Look like it. <laughs> I'm the oldest woman in Donstar. Was here when Scald the Elder was Scald the Younger. What? Oh. He's a fool if you haven't met him already. He is. Thinks Ulfric Stormcloak is invincible and spits dragon fire. The people here look to Brina Merilis when they need things settled. Real firebrand going up. Wasn't surprised when she joined the Legion. How'd you pick up the herb trade? My husband. Herb trade? We used to go out into the wilds and collect ingredients together. He used to call me his pretty juniper. It's quite romantic, if you're an alchemist. Frost took the old fool a few seasons back while he was looking for the ring of pure mixtures. I found the ring's resting place after he died. But I'm far too old to go exploring some cave now. Well, we're not. Well, I could find that ring for you. Well, aren't you sweet? I'd be happy to give you some alchemy training in exchange for the ring if you bring it to me. Woo! Let's do that. If you find that ring... Bring it here. And hey, we got some Vigilant to Stendar? Is that what we got to see? Hey, hello? Hello? Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. Thank you. You're welcome. Our efforts aren't as brilliant as your radiance. The mercy of Stendar does not extend oh, I didn't know the deer could join the Vigilance of Stendar as well. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a separate group from the yeah, Vigilance of Stendir. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I know you're not a big fan of Ulfric and some of the uh, Stormcloak folks are a bit jerkish. Uh-huh. But I'm kind of surprised you're not more sympathetic to their cause. What a big bad kitty. We've got our own dog. Ow! The lion hit me in the face with his claws. Yeah, but then he died. So who came out the victor? You did. Oh. I would be more sympathetic to their fuck off and leave us alone attitude if their attitude wasn't fuck off and leave us alone so that we can subjugate every single other person that lives in our area. Dead bear! Yeah, you asked previously why Elfric made the Dunmer stay in the Grey Quarter, but mm -hmm. the Grey Quarter, it's, it's not like he went around and rounded them up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hi, hi! Oh, hi, hey. Hello, friggin' hey, 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 sorry about the arrow thing. Can you stop shooting uh, bees at us? I was, uh, I, I was kind of surprised. You got, uh, you got help and help and notice the, 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 the legs you got there. You're gonna <laughs> die ogling a tree. Ow! <laughs> oh, no, I've contracted bone break fever. Oh, I'll have to go worship something to get rid of it. Oh, wait, hang on. I have the Staff of Industrialization, <laughs> a.k.a. Slash and Burn the Forest. <laughs> Show the bear your conservationist skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes, all right. Where's that extremely hot tree lady? Ha-ha! <laughs> hot because she's burning. There we go. Now we extract the sap from her butthole. I was just gonna say from the hole that's in the side of her rib cage, but okay. I was making it weird. Ring of pure mixtures. Woo! That's what we're looking for. Uh, no, you were saying something about like the. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll resume where we get outside. Ah! Oh, geez, stop, you wait for us outside. Oh, it's a hot one! Oh, <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> yeah, they look a lot hotter when they're not made out of bark. She's got a. Booty on her! <laughs> Damn, son! Where you going? going, going, going? Dip. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn. Oh, all, yeah. Right. all right, all right, all right, all uh, right. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, the Grey Quarter isn't uh, an internment camp set up by Ulfric. It's a refugee camp. Uh -huh. All those Dunmore were fleeing from an active volcano that destroyed their homes. Okay. So, Ulfric opened up the town of Windhelm to them and let them stay. As I said before, I don't have a horse in this race, legally acquired or otherwise, but after talking to these folks, it, it seems like they're making a good point. You wanna talk about, you wanna talk about the plight of a specific people? Why the fuck won't they let Khajiit into any town? 
I mean, I get it. We'll transmit fleas to everyone, but that's beside the point. Yeah, I don't know. While we were walking back, we found this thing over here. We're finding a lot of things. This is the laziest Stonehenge I've ever seen. Well, it's a it's it's not a Stonehenge. It's a Wayne's stone. Ah. Uh. Come on. Enemies raised. Must die, some sooner than others. Yeah, they weren't doing a very good job of guarding the stones. Oh, it's a Talos shrine. Hello, Talos. Worshiping you is illegal, apparently. It is illegal. I am gonna do that though because I did get bit by a bear, and apparently it gave me a disease. <laughs> All right, disease cured. Engaging. Oh my dick! You shot me in the dick. Now oh, my head. That's a much better place to shoot me. Thank you. More of that, please! More of that! <laughs> you want to turn me into a rug, yes? I'll be wiping my feet on your corpse! Uh, yeah, you tell him! That's what you get for stealing my shot, Inigo! Ah, uh, there's more bodies to go around! Victory is yours! I submit! No, you don't. No, you don't! Oh. No, you'll bleed out! <laughs> Put you down! Boss dismissed. Hee 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 hee! Yay, my restoration increased! Fort Dunstead Commander's Quarters. Okay, we can clear this out. Never should have come here. Uh, but I did. You will not be looting my cops. Never should have stayed here. <laughs> Showboating! That was silly. <laughs> that was incredibly silly. <laughs> I mean, look how cool I am. That's what I meant to say. Here. Go upstairs. I picked a bad time oh, to crap. get lost, friend. I picked a bad day for my bound sword to run out. <laughs> Hiya! Is that the best you can do? Die already, so I can take your stuff. You die already, so I can take your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now you're naked, nerd. All right. You know where we cleared the rest of them, I think. Hmm. These uh, bandits had some. Yeah, uh, we're killing elves. Why? Evil bandits! Look, they're using a clothes iron on them. Oh, come on. And down here in the dungeony area. That's a booby trap if I've ever seen one. Well, you're standing on it and nothing's happening. Oh, there's a lever! This isn't a trap, it's a torture device! Oh! Yep. You want to ask me something? Yes, I want you to wait right here. If there's trouble, come get me. This is gonna be so, I, this is gonna I, be so he who funny. You can try, I don't know if he's supposed to. <laughs> Uh, all right, come on. Waiting is boring. Shall we go? <laughs> you always know how to lift our spirits in go. like 50 holes in him, and he's just like, waiting is boring. <laughs> Do you feel a draft? All oh, the wind is blowing through all the holes in his body. <laughs> he takes a drink of water. It's like a loose. He's cutting water. Goes, and just shoots out of all the holes in him. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's much down here. Seems like the bandits were here and they were torturing folks for funsies. That's yeah, kind of all this place was. Yeah, that's what it seems like. We'll go turn this ring back in to the nice old lady that gave us that quest. Oh, right. Let's wrap that up. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can do it. You can get yourself caught in the trap. <laughs> no raccoon. We got to save him. Oh, are we breaking it? Are we breaking this thing right now? Wow, damn. <laughs> Raccoon is strong. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. A stamina potion, maybe? Popular with young men. I... I would imagine it'd be more popular with older men. Yeah, well, I have your ring. Thank you. Here, let an old alchemist pass on some of her secrets to you. Let me know if you come down with the rattles. Wait, is, is that it? Just one level of alchemy? I guess so. Oh, all right. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. 
Well, no, they're ashamed of him because he didn't live up to the blacksmith name and he left to become a magician or something. Yeah, I left to go learn how to make a bunch of brooms walk and dust the floor. Well, I want to go find Red Eagle's sword. Oh, okay, we can do that. I don't know why, but I want to find it. What if it's really cool? I hear birds chirping. I hear birds chirping too. Or a squeaky wheel, not sure. Also, there's some chaos on the road here? What's going on over here? Dude just being a badass, taking out a bunch of wolves. Oh! Impressive. Hi, how you doing? Well met. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Eh, maybe later. If you change your mind, seek me out here. I'll let you know. I bet you that wolf and him were in cahoots. They were put on a show. They were, us. yeah. Oh, that's your client. Oh, well, we already you're in the middle of a job, <laughs> dude! Yeah, but I think you could pay more. So I would be willing to ditch her. Yeah, but you look like you've got money, and it would be a very easy job because you can defend yourself. <laughs> I would be really mad if I was his client. If I was that work lady, I'd be real pissed off. Yeah? Those are very loud birds. What kind of birds are those? Obnoxious. Shut up! Ugh. Or maybe it's whistling weed? Oh, hello! I, well, I see your frost, your flame Atronach, and I raise you one oh, frost Atronach! Because she's bigger and bigger and better. <laughs> and now the, oh, damn! Lightning bolt! Haha! <laughs> To kill the forest worm, does her stomach die as well? Yes, oddly. I, I, you know, I didn't think that's how that would work. But I did. Yay. The skeleton's trying to escape again. We're still being shot. Let's duck into this cave. I cannot. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have stood on the very, very dangerous spikes. Ooh. I guess we're going to start picking them off. Oh, right in his heart. What right in his briar heart. Yes. I like how you're down there and he doesn't seem to be too perturbed about it. I was doing an infiltration mission. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. God, those birds are annoying, though. They really are. The, the lead, the lead. That was good. And, oh, that was man. So good. Oh, Ooh. Mm. is that a hag raven I see over there? Hang All on. right. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I see a booty. Look at that shot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I picked up the stupid fucking four sworn arrows. I thought that was an everlasting gobstopper for a second. <laughs> Come and face the forsworn. Oh, you got one of those, huh? I will take their staff of ice storms, though. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, how you, how are you doing? Burning, <laughs> burning, are you? Hey, how, how are you? Oh. <laughs> and the ice atronach is gone now. It won't last very long, I guess. Double fire. Nice. Man, I don't have anything. Yeah, here, I got, no, this forge is ours now, I guess. <laughs> Yay! Is this a sky forge I've heard so much about? Ah, uh, maybe. A dance in fire volume two. They turned it into a play, and like, apparently it really fell apart on like the eighth performance of the play. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I was trying to do a Game of Thrones joke. Oh, it did, yeah. It, 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 it really fell flat on its face. In the seventh season, yeah. yeah. Was it seventh or eighth season that it felt that the show like really fell apart? I think it only had seven seasons. I don't remember. I didn't really watch it. Every single time I tried watching it, it's just like two dudes being like, yes, 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 no, yes, no, no, yes. And then the entire time in the background, there's just a girl getting fucked. <laughs> and that was like every scene I saw was just that. And I'm just like, this is what people think is good. Just watch porn. If you want to watch porn, just watch porn. I think the writing might be a, a bit better than you're describing. So it, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. I'm paraphrasing. But yeah, that's how I felt when I watched it. Yeah, I always talk shit on Game of Thrones because I'm very upset that they built up 
the big finale, and then the finale turned out to be awful. The finale turned out to be, what's her name, turns into Pol Pot with braids because her brother won't have sex with her. Normally I would say to just watch the first few seasons and uh, just ignore the last season. You know, you can ignore the seasons individually, but you can't because this, it's all building of this one big thing. It's supposed to be crescendoing towards a wet fart. Yeah. Hey, we found the Red Eagle readout you're looking hey! for. Hey! Oh wait, that's healing! Yeah. Shit! I'm a good wizard! I am the Archmage of the College of Winterhold and I'll have you treat me with respect! Archmage of College of Winterhold, he screams while basically using a flamethrower. <laughs> that's what the Archmage does! I'm a physicist! As he burns the building <laughs> down the flamethrower. <laughs> Those birds are really annoying, man. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Anyway, here's the cave. Yeah, into the readout. I was gonna say, maybe we should be careful talking about Game of Thrones, but it's not exactly a hot take saying the last season of Game of Thrones was bad. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I wasn't super into it. Like, I thought it was fine. I thought it was all right. I just really didn't particularly like it. And then, like, right as Game of Thrones ended, uh, the HBO series on Chernobyl came out, and that was really fucking good. Yeah, you've got a type. Oh, oh that was really good. What was that? He said it was an arrow buried in his sternum. Could have been anything. Maybe a bee sting. Who knows? <laughs> I'll see you in pieces. I think you figured out what it was. You win. I submit. Let's give them an archery lesson, my friend. Ooh, there's one over there. Yeah, all right. Trade arrows. Trade arrows. Could be hard to shoot us. So you got an arrow in your eye. <laughs> so, like, went into his gut, and he's just like, what was that? <laughs> the arrow sticking out of his gut. And then he had a second arrow sticking out of him, and he was like, Ace Ventura. Uh, ah! <laughs> there used to be a, there used to be a phrase back when the fucking longbow was, like, the, the English longbow was a thing. Like, they would spend their entire life learning how to be a longbowman, and there was a phrase from back then that was, how do you make a good longbowman? First, you start with his grandfather. <laughs> it was like, you had to go like that far back to get them to have like the proper muscle development. And it was just like this highly, highly specialized trade uh. of just shooting arrows, which I'm, I'm not demeaning. I'm not demeaning shooting arrows at all. Ooh. By no means am I demeaning shooting arrows. It was a lot of work. Yeah. And then some dickhole invented gunpowder and now we didn't need longbowmen anymore. <laughs> and we're out. Wait, why don't we go in there? Oh, because uh, we're not done yet. <laughs> to clear it out. We're still ascending, that's right. Is someone there? Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. You! Why are you not rude for running at us? <laughs> Sorry, Inigo, I forgot the fire arrows blow up. Because of death, idiocy. Oh, that was a... <laughs> it's a training mannequin. <laughs> as soon as I knocked that arrow... You already knew. Smells like sweat, sorcery, and trees appear. <laughs> they were much of <laughs> I love that I'm basically just yeah. doing the equivalent of firing a grenade yeah. launcher at <laughs> Yeah Point blank range. Oh, it's my fire, it knows not to hurt me. Uh Red Eagles Red Eagles right, having bathed the blade in human blood, presented in rebels can together with your sacrifice and intone. Lord Red Eagle, ancient one, first and foremost among reachmen, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom. Still our blades are dark with blood. Turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew. I renew the ancient covenant. When at last our lands are free, we shall return. Your sword of victory in hand. Then arise, O oh great one, from your honored tomb. Reclaim thy stolen throne. Rule over us, high lord of the reach, forevermore. Well, that's kind of metal. It's pretty cool. That's, that's kind of cool. Still always surprising to me that Forrest weren't illiterate. Hey, there's the legend of Red Eagle. There's a sword called Red Eagle, Tongue of the Reach. Okay. With a screeching bird call that greeted his birth. Oh, maybe that's what we were hearing. Maybe. Still on the foreign invaders, his land, his people, his very name. In the years that followed, Red Eagle became known as the untamed spirit of the Reach. Unbowed, unbroken, stained by the blood of his foes. So it's He like scoured a... the umbral plains. <laughs> <laughs> He gathered loyal reachmen to himself, those who clung to the old ways, who yearned for freedom and forged a new nation. Together they fell upon the occupiers and the traitors by night, disappearing into the cliffs and caves each morn, evading capture like the cowards they were. 
She revealed herself to be one of the ancient and venerable hag ravens who were all hot as fuck. <laughs> and then they hung out at the pool together and drank many a Coors Light. Thus was brokered to the witch, his heart, his will, his humanity. From that day forth, his was a spirit of vengeance. Yeah, the, the Briar Hearts. That's yeah, right. that's, why they came, that's how they became Briar Hearts. That's cool. Until he himself came forth for battle, alone and robed in nothing but his righteous fury. He was naked as fuck, and everyone saw that his wiener was very small. <laughs> and then he kept screaming, I was in the pool! I was in the pool! So it says right there. Well, I think we picked up the sword off of him. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, Red Eagle's Fury. That's a flaming sword, all right. I really don't know if there's anything else worth grabbing. Also, as much as I would like to continue using the sword, this is very distracting. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's less distracting when you're the one using it. Yeah. Oh my god! This is that a kiwi bird? Oh, that's what's making the noise. What the? It's cute. It's totally a kiwi bird. Nice. I was going to scream at them and make a bunch of noise and tell them to knock it off, but now it... Now that I know they're kiwi birds, I will leave them be. Yeah, we'll just return... Well, we're not returning this sword to anybody, are we? Alright, well, uh, kiwi birds, the area is now safe for you to do lots of nesting and roosting. Feel free to use the entire building, it's great. Uh, you will have to turn the gas back on in the building. I shut it off, but also, because you're kiwi birds, it probably was a good idea for me to shut it <laughs> off. I don't think I want you guys having access to gas. I'll, I'll assume they're being loud because it's mating season. Maybe they're not normally that Probably. Obnoxious. I like kiwi birds. They're fun. Yeah. And they can't fly. No, I think they're one of the last extant species of moa. Oh, yeah. I, I would believe that. They're small moas. Bullfreck, I have an order of swords and armor from the local blacksmith coming here. I need every piece polished to a fine shine. Yes, my young. We could hardly waste anyone else's precious time on such a tedious task. Exactly, Bullfreck. You always know your place. <laughs>